this is home to me. When people ask me where I live and I respond Susan Street, they respond with a confused face. So then I explain that it is two streets away from Jackson Street. Then right away they know what street this is. I'm not surprised why they would know th that street. It is not only where there is a bus stop, but also where a lot of harsh incidents have occurred. People spread the word, word right away in this neighborhood. The word, word is the per this particular street, there is danger. I have, a, I have heard about mostly everything, like getting stabbed, gunshots, robbery, and mostly car accidents. I do not like when people ask me whether if it is if it is a dangerous place to live because I really don't know what to answer. I see gra the graffiti on the walls being claimed to be someone's territory, but how can it really be there? Be really theirs? I wonder how this started and how little kids get influenced to continue these games. I would not be surprised if it were because of drugs. I mean, I have seen some of these boys grown since I was in elementary school. I have seen and heard how the way they dress and their face expression ha have changed. Is it like if they were hypnotized? I want to ask so many questions to that particular clique that still hangs out in the front of the alley where I used to live, but am always afraid of their response, especially when they hang out when the sun is slowly going down, which does not make any sense. It is like if they were nocturnal people. They start out with white smoke rise, rises and little yellow or orange light rises like dragonflies flying until you can only see their shadow. I have to admit I get scared either way because of the incidents that my family and I have gone through. There is other there is anger frustration that can get can be kept inside until forgotten because there's no other way around it. You can never lose the harsh memories though. Living in the alley was not that so bad. I admit I mean I played there since I was a little toddler and moved in the apartments next to the alley for some of my elementary school. And for some for my time being in high school I lived by the alley again. And being an older age, I have not feel safe for something for some time. I do not like feeling like this, but I could not help it. I always wonder what could have possibly led this neighborhood to go this direction. I mean, there is a park nearby where lots of little kids go and play there. After leaving the alley recently and living once again in the apartments, I wonder if there are any differences because I am still feeling, f f I feel part of that neighborhood.